Hello and welcome back to 30 Day Slim Photoshop. This is day 22, Smart Objects. My name is Ben Grubin and in today's lesson we're going to consider what smart objects are and how they are used into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and switch over to Photoshop. And we're going to demo what a smart object is first and how they are used because they are quite impressive. So this here just appears like a window which has a smart object or sorry, a sticker applied to it. That's fine, pretty bog standard stuff. This was purchased from graphicriver.net. And we've got reflection, we've got a logo layer, and we've got a background layer. So those three elements combined are pretty basic stuff. So let's go ahead and look at what this is and how smart objects are used. So this is a logo layer, which you'll notice, as opposed to a normal layer, such as this one or this one, got a kind of little funny icon down there in the corner and if you hover over that it shows you what's contained in uh, what's called a smart object thumbnail so that shows you what's within a smart object so this layer here we know is a smart object and essentially what smart objects are are kind of templates or holders that are a link to an original source file but then the source file is edited here. So the source file remains the same. And this one is edited. We can add effects, all kinds of stuff. But the original remains unchanged. It's simply linked or called out and referenced in this file. So in order to change our logo file, we would double click on here. And we get a little bit of a spiel about returning back and all kinds of stuff. We'll talk about that as we do it. Press OK. This creates a or links us to the original file which has a logo file within there so we can change this we have the current logo layer which we're going to remove we're going to put in some text which is going to be our pretend logo let's type logo set it to a nicer font something like that just drag it into place and let's put it to white because the original one was white so we'll go window character panel set it to white we've been tweaking with the workspace so let's do that we can change the weight and the italics if we want and we're going to press save on this .psb file when we go back to our original file then you can see it's actually loaded in the file here but it's applied some styling and perspective to it so that is in essence what a smart object is we're going to return back to this using uh, another object into this one so smart objects are ways of calling out a file linking to essentially what are templates really including a template in your file and linking to an original design but also then we're able to perform non-destructive transformations on the smart object itself such as this one here we can click on it we can resize it we could change the color we could reverse it we can do all sorts of stuff let's just reverse it and show you so if we reverse this file like so looks a bit odd but the original file always, always, always remains the same. The same. If we change the color, so we put a different color over the top of this, like so, original file, still the same. So it's just a way of being able to non-destructively transform layers and retain the original one. It also helps us work with data from vectors. So we can import and use Illustrator files within Photoshop. We can apply non-destructive filtering to elements. We could blur this out and still not have any real issues with the original document so let's show you how we would import a file from illustrator if you do use illustrator a lot you'll know how to grab hold of all this kind of stuff and, and how to work it but in general we're just going to do a big selection on that logo there we're going to drag this into photoshop into the document window and let go and this is going to automatically create a smart object for us which is very handy and we can initially resize it, place it within our document, like so. So let's just hit return onto there. And as you can see over on the right, this is actually now called Vector Smart Object. If we double click on it, press OK, it will return us to the original Illustrator file or a temporary one that was created when we dragged it over. And here we can change the actual text itself, we can change the colors. So we could go ahead, change the colors of this um, logo file, put it all to white. Same here, change it to white. 
just so that we're able to see it better then if we save this like so just pressing command and save we're not doing save as or anything like that when we return back to illustrator at photoshop we've got a now updated image so it's all white just the changes that we've made to it we could also put this into our other smart object here by dragging it up here dropping it in like so and deleting this one deleting that layer like so and having this in there saving it and returning to our smart object and this time you see we've got our file there but if we edit undo it will revert to original settings of the smart object so that's something that you want to bear in mind and if we open it again from this state it will actually open the original smart object so that's something that you'll want to bear in mind in order to edit a actual pixel level version of this you need to rasterize it so if you wanted to paint over the top of this you wouldn't be able to because the layer is a smart object and it just like shapes you're gonna have to paint over uh, here you can see we're doing an erase on the object painting in so that's how that works now in order to create one from another file very easy just go to file and open a smart object and then find the file you want to use as a smart object in this case we'll use this one and you can see there we've got a smart object in this layer you could then drag that over to other documents so it's all entirely cross compatible that would drop that into this file here as a smart layer and again you can do it over here just keep going there's into compatibility and they are very very easy to use in order to create some really cool dramatic effects and templates so what have we learned in today's lesson well we've looked at how to make smart objects we've done a demo of a, a working smart object file and we've considered why smart objects are used so your task for this lesson is to place the psd file in a smart object like we've just shown you go to file open our smart object and then add this to a new document so create a new document put your viewing mode to two columns and drag the layer over onto the other document next time on 30 days to learn photoshop we'll be looking at the transform controls thanks for listening